but as you know, the turbinator, the turbinator's hooked up to the motor, but the motor's not pushing enough power to drive the gas coupled turbo, which then comes to the air filter, which is the air conditioning for the motor. So then the motor can turn the motor pressure into the encabulator pressure. It's really that simple. <laughs> Look at that oil everywhere. Like this thing is filthy. Welcome back to another episode of Rich Ace Customs. I'm finally back and today we are tearing into Naughty, seeing what happened at Rocky Nats 03 and hopefully we're going to sort out something. I've got an engine down the paddock I've got to pull out and really just going to pull it apart and see how much damage I've done. Bobby Mumps, hey you Falcon, Headphone, copper belted, doing skids, fires melting, smell of rum ain't bloody helping. Also, a big shout out to my dad, Neil at NJRQS, for letting me use his four post hoist at his house. I've currently got my big shed getting built at my house, so it's only a matter of time before I can start doing rich house customers back at my house, which will be good. Which is half the reason why I've been quiet lately, is because I've been broke saving up money for the shed, which is finally getting built at the moment, so good news. So. Get the coolant going, and we can start dropping the engine oil, gearbox oil, all the fun stuff. Still looks pretty good. Right, I've got the oil carefully draining down below. And I reckon I'll start pulling some of the accessories off. So I'll turbo, I'll probably take the supercharger off now. Radiator fans, all that shebang. And really shouldn't be too hard, hey? One plug or two plugs at the Barry ECU there. Couple little things, but should just fly it. motor, alternator, just got to put out oh, that's my head, disconnect the peering, uh, power steering pump and we should be right to go.
Ye. <coughs> well, there we have it. Turns out the only thing I forgot was the power steering pump, so that's all right. Still leaking a little bit, but that's all right, I'll clean it all up. Oh, how bloody good. Good news. Rightio. <coughs> Here's the suspect. I'm gonna pull this. Look pretty, so. But this one runs like a dream, so. That's the go. And then once they're all apart, I'm gonna pull the head off Naughty's engine, get the cam and all that off it, so I can use it to put on this bottom end. Rightio, welcome back to day two of the teardown. This is obviously not Naughty's engine, this is the one out of the green donor car. So this morning I'm gonna pull the head off this one. Um, basically, the plan is, is use the bottom end of this, so the long block, and I'll use Naughty's head if it's okay. And I'll slap Naughty's head on this bottom end and hopefully make a ripper of an engine. This one's got about 290,000 kilometers. Naughty's engine had 190. So this one will be a little bit more broken in. Hopefully a little bit less buddy compression. So it means more boost. So I'm gonna rip into this engine first and we can have a look. Well, the donor engine Looks pretty tidy. It's a little bit dirty, but honestly, for 290,000 kilometers, I'll cop that. <laughs> strip this bad boy down to a long block as well and organize it a little bit more than just in a box of crap so we can take the head off Naughty's engine get that resurfaced and transfer all the loom back to this dock but we won't put the loom on until the head's back on and she's all back together so let the fun begin deja vu do it all over again boo boo and yeah Not meant to look like that. <laughs> right, uh, that wraps up today's video of tearing down Naughty's old engine. Uh, as you can see, number one cylinder, well, piston, was absolutely torched. It scored all down the bore of the uh, crankcase there, so it's, she's no good, but we'll get to Burson's on Monday. We'll get a head gasket and all the gaskets ordered for the new engine. Get a clutch, machine the flywheel, and yeah, so our mates at Burson's in Rocky will get all the parts we need ready for Rocky Nats 04. So shout out to the legends at Burson's. Shout out to Dad for letting me use his shed once again. And yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll edit this video tonight hopefully and get out to you. Cheers.